Hello there and welcome back. This is going to be another typer video and in this video we are going to focus on the progress bar. So basically it's a nice feature that allows you to show the progress of uh, basically whatever you are doing and typer supports that fully with fancy details. So from time import sleep and we would like to use the main function and if the underscore name equals main type run and the first demo I would like to show you is going to take basically a value and uh, after we, we use it with the with context manager so with typer that progress bar we can give it a range let's make it 10 as progress and we can use the for loop for i in progress S let's say that we would like to sleep 0.1 second and increase or oh, we don't need the total here but basically what we would like to do is to say typer that echo complete now if we go back and execute it you can see this nice progress bar which which is pretty cool in my opinion and what we can do is to set a specific length for this progress bar so if I say that this has a length of I don't know 100 and re-execute it you can see a difference in the progress bar itself but to make it more then basically we can create a function so iteration and uh, what this function is going to do is to give us back with the yield statement the value of i and don't forget the in keyword and after that what I would like to do is to create another progress bar so with typer that progress bar and we give it the function iteration and the length is equal to 1000 as progress and for I in progress sleep 0.1 and typer that echo complete now let's go back and execute it here is the first one then the second one and so on it may take some time but uh, let's increase or decrease the sleep time all right now we are talking so it is going to give us back the time that is remaining until completion which is I think it's a is a pretty nice feature and what we can also do is to give it a label so label processing users and now as you can see we have this nice label available for us and you could use the progress.update to basically manually update the progress bar so let's see an example for that as well and the difference progressing another one is going to be this so we also we keep the 
we we keep the same structure as previously, but we use the progress that update, and let's make it like let's update it with one or two fifty rather to make it more visible. And ten, nine, eight, seven, six. This is the second progress bar that we are waiting for to complete. And after that, this is going to be the third one. So what happened here is that despite the fact that we had a thousand values to process, it updated the progress bar in four iterations because the length is 1000 and it needed four cycles to show it as complete. So technically that was all I wanted to show you in the progress bar video. See you in the next.